Two, the diameter of basketball produced by a factory are normally distributed. So we know that normally distributed with a mean of 24 cm. So when we have a normal distribution graph, we know that the highest point here is the mean. Where this one is 24, we can see it from here, right? So this one is the, actually the midpoint of the graph. Okay, mm -hmm. and we know that right and left is symmetrical. Standard deviation is 0 0.5. So we have mean is equal to 24. Standard deviation is equal to 0 0.5. The diagram on the right shows the normal distribution graph for the diameter in cm of the so this one in cm of the basketball. Given the area of the shaded region is 0 0.245, find the value of k. So here we can see that the value of x is in between k and this one. So this one is in between x is in between k and 25.4. So how to find the area of shaded region? So we know that uh, when we use a when we want to find the z score, so the z must be larger than zero, right? So we see here what we can find that if we find that probability of x is larger than k we get everything right but then we don't want this area after 25.4 so minus probability of x is larger than 25.4 then we will get the shaded region this one is equal to p x is larger than k minus probability x is larger than 25.4 And this one is 0 0.245, 0 0.245. Okay. So here, so here we have this one z is equal to x minus mean divided by standard deviation so for the first one we have this one right so x is 25.4 minus our mean is 24 divided by 0 0.5 so here we get two point eight. So here probability of x is larger than k is equal to so here we bring it to this side so 0 0.245 plus probability of x is <coughs> probability x is larger than 25.4 where here we know 0 0.245 plus probability x is larger than 25.4 so we know the value is 2.8 so here z is larger than 2.8 so this value we can find it from our table so here 2.8 so we are talking about z so this one is our z score so 2.8 you see here we are going down so we have 2.8 means 2.80 so here 2.8 and this one is 0 which is 0 0.00256 so here 0 0.00256 here so this one is 0 0.00256 and this one is 0 0.245 so when you add it you get Zero point two four seven six. So here, probability of z is larger than k is equal to zero point two four seven six. So this one is the. 
So here's 0 0.2476. So 0 0.2476. This one is the probability, not the Z score, right? So we have to find it from here. So 0 0.2476. So find the one closest and a bit larger or equal because we have to minus the value later on. 0 0.2476. So we see here 0 0.24. So this one, okay, this one is 2451, which is smaller. So this one is 0 0.2483. So here we have 0 0.2483 minus 0 0.2476. So here we get 0 0.0007 we know this one is 4 decimal point so we have to minus with 7 here so if you see 7 is this one right so now we can find what is our z score so from here straight line to here it is 0 0.6 and then this one up here is 8 and then you can see that the one with 7 here is 2 so 0 0.682 from the z value so okay we get zero we get 0 0.682 but here we wanted to find our x right so this one so here formula z minus z is equal to x minus mean divided by standard deviation so here this one is the value of our z so 0 0.682 is equal to the value of x is k so x minus mean is 24 divided by standard deviation is 0 0.5 so we'll bring here 0 0.682 times 0 0.5 we get 0 0.341 0 0.341 is equal to k minus 24 k is equal to 0 0.341 plus 24 so here we get 24.3 for